In this video, I'm going to answer the question, should your email messages come from a person or from a company? And the overwhelming evidence says people want to communicate with people. They don't want to get messages from companies. That's why you should virtually always send a message from a person and not from your company. And each message should be signed by a single person. And that would be the person most appropriate to send that message. The owner, the manager, the CEO, whoever it is. And not the team or company name. The only time this may not be the best option is if your readers haven't heard from you for a while or if they don't know who you are. If that's the case, you could use a hybrid from field such as John Jones CPA Industries in brackets. That way they'll know who you're from and they'll know your name so they know it's come from a real person. And as I've said in other videos in this series, if you send messages that look like the kind of thing a friend would send, you'll have a lot more people opening and reading them and you'll make a lot more money as a result. And remember, as we've discussed, always write like you talk. As you put your message together, imagine you're sitting down at a cafe with a friend, having a drink or having a chat over coffee, and write like that. You want to write your messages the same way you talk to a friend. People are going to open them, they're going to read them, and they're going to take action. And don't use big words or hype or industry jargon. Use the normal everyday language you'd use to talk to your friends, and your message will be read, understood, and in a lot more cases, acted upon.